So we're looking at a, an aplysia stretched out. We're going to focus in on the gill and the siphon. We're going to apply an extremely weak stimulus so you can see the amplification with sensitization. Weak stimulus to the siphon, you see a modest withdrawal of the gill. Now we're going to frighten the animal, startle it, give a noxious stimulus to the tail. That, of course, causes a contraction in its own right. This contraction lasts for seconds, but you can come back minutes later. The same siphon stimulus now produces a much more powerful withdrawal. We can now compare the two, normal and sensitized, and see how much more powerful the withdrawal is in the animal that is startled. The memory for this event is a function of number of training trials. So if you give a single tail shock, plotting here, change in reflex strength is a function of time. The enhancement for, of the reflex lasts minutes. But if we give the same stimulus four or five times, we get a memory that lasts a couple of days. So we have a short-term memory and a long-term memory, and we can now look at the difference between them.